Let's take a look at the playing of the great Eric Clapton. Without Eric, we may never have heard the sounds of blues rock, hard rock, heavy metal, and everything that came after it. Born in 1945, Eric was a prime mover in the British blues explosion of the early to mid 60s and released essential proto blues rock recordings with the Yardbirds, songs such as I Ain't Got You and Got to Hurry. From there, he moved on to John Mayall's Blues Breakers and the solos that he recorded in his mind boggling guitar style that you can hear on songs like Stepping Out and Hideaway and Double Crossing Time are among the most influential and powerful blues rock recordings anyone's ever heard. And they proved to be huge influences on guitar players like Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, Peter Green, and any and all disciples of that style of music. Armed with his 1959 Les Paul guitar and Marshall JTM 45 amplifier, Eric on the recordings with John Mayles Blues Breakers created an entirely new sound and the heavily overdriven quality of the guitar and the incredible sustain was basically at the time the sound of the future and to this day is regarded as the template for the sound of blues rock. Eric is known for his incredibly deft phrasing and fluid-like touch and vibrato. And though he was directly influenced by players like B.B. King and Buddy Guy and Otis Rush, Eric's playing has a distinct youthful quality all its own. And he still has that quality all these years later. His playing is very expressive and at times very vocal-like, but he can also erupt into blasts of pure virtuosity playing very, very fast, which earned him the sarcastic nickname, Slow Hand. A complete study of Eric's playing is essential for any guitar player interested in learning about how to play blues and blues rock especially. These days, Eric relies on light gauge strings, a 10 on top, and he normally plays through small Fender amplifiers. But back in his cream heyday, he used nines on tap and played through tremendous Marshall amplifiers. For guitars, he started out with a Telecaster in the Yardbirds, and then moved on to Les Paul Standards with the Blues Breakers, and with Cream, moved over to SGs and 335s. Uh, and during his time with Blind Faith, he started to play Fender Stratocasters, continued to do that, and Derek and the Dominoes, and that remains his guitar of choice to this day. One of Eric Clapton's greatest solos is the one he cut for the Cream song Badge. Badge is in the key of D, and the solos are based primarily on D minor pentatonic. So this next example is played along the lines of that solo. <laughs> 